That's how I'm gonna set up the tree. And look on the tree. So obviously. We don't buy a skeleton none at all. Because when you cut the top of a skeleton off, it's gonna spring right back. <laughs> Everything nice, man. Bless up. Guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in this video, we're gonna do some vegetable soup because right now it's necessary. Um, we went to Bahamas for the weekend and me feel like say yo, me destroy 30 days worth of nutrition and fitness in one weekend because the food where we eat, the alcohol where we drink, and we don't do it right over again because it was worth it. You know what I mean? So. Um, right now as a black man in this world, my life expectancy is 70, 70 or 72, social security is 67, so I'm supposed to work 50 something years and after them 50 something years, I only live 3 years, it not really make no sense to me, so any chance I get, the little weekend get away, we we'll go out in a different country with a Jamaica, Bahamas and all that, until the real vacation where you take 2 weeks off, you always have to do that, you know what I mean, you have to full joy your life, you have to go through life with that little no regret there, you know what I mean? You know, so you live life and have some good little memory, you know what I mean? So, it was definitely worth it, you see? You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I always remember God is the ultimate decision maker for your life, you get what I'm saying? So, full joy of your life, make we get into the video, you see? So guys, we're gonna start with some gungo. Alright, for all of the people who's in America where they born in Jamaica, when you did young, um, and your auntie or your grandmother call it big song help shell some gungo or pluck out some sorrel or thing you used to hate it right but now you're in america if me call you and tell you say yo let me shell some gungo now you know say so you don't do it right now because all of a sudden the things you take for granted right now is the next best thing because this right here is therapeutic can you think about the fact that yo see a dry gungo here right I get one seed out of the dry gum way. I'm gonna plant it in a sun yet. Cause sun this. I'm gonna plant it in a sun. And right now we provide this right here. You get what I'm saying? So now it became therapeutic. So the thing where you there run from in your life become therapeutic right now. So now um, when I do the vegetable soup, I like to pick the green gum because a lot of people sleep on gum. Well in America it's called well not in America but in the world it's called pigeon peas. But people sleep, sleep on pigeon peas, aka gungo. A lot of people sleep on gungo. Gungo have potassium, iron, protein. Yo, this right here can save your life. No wish right now, I'm gonna send, send everybody one seed. You know what I mean? That's the plan, take your hand. Like in the morning when I prepare for lunch and them things, what I do is I come out here for like say six, seven minutes. I come out here for like six, seven minutes. I boil the water, crush, crush like a pig of garlic in it, one pig of garlic in it, let the water boil. I come out here for seven minutes, shell some gungu, put the gungu in the water, then after that, boil and we just keep the clip about time. Then. then after that, we just put some put some broccoli in it, you see it? and that right here, yo right there, straight forward up, you see it? that's my favorite way of getting the, the, the bungo you know what I mean? So very healthy peas and things, you see it? remember there's an easier way for this you see if you pick off the bungo when it dry and you put it in a bag and you beat it you basically shell out everything right there, you know what I mean? so it's an easier method but I'm telling you if people consume it this way, like the green way, and thing like that, because right now it's easier to cook, yo, it's gonna be, bring a lot of nutrients to you. As I said, it's filled with potassium, iron, protein, all of them things there, isn't it? No woman thinks I'm crazy. Alright, let's talk about this. She thinks I'm crazy. Um, there's no better way I can say this, but I talk to the tree. You know what I mean? I talk to the gungo tree. The only thing I said to the tree, 
there was a tree here before this tree. So this tree is like a, a granddaughter tree. Because me had tree tree. Y'all follow me? Me had tree tree before this tree. And this tree is like a granddaughter for the other tree. Alright. So all I said to the tree was your mother was a beautiful lady. When the sun is going down and the sun hit her leaf, her halo was just amazing. She bring me peace. She was like a personal therapy. Your mother was everything. And if you can be just a quarter of what your mother was, you're gonna be an amazing tree. That's how I set to the tree. And look on the tree. So obviously, by saying this, this is this is like the fourth time harvesting from this tree right now. This is the fourth time. I just look at the tree. You know what I mean? It's leaning, it's in sun, everything going against the tree. But look at the tree. All because I talk to the tree. So but 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 here's the crazy part though. She say I'm crazy for talking to the tree. But who's really crazy here? Because you're talking to a crazy person who's talking to the tree. But yet you're with the crazy person. So I think she's crazy for dealing with a crazy person who talked to the tree. You see it? <laughs> so we have enough gungo for your pot right now. You see it? So this is uh, spend about oh, 8 minutes of shell gungo. So this is what we get out of it. 8 minutes. And if you're watching this video, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Get one. Get one green. Get one seed of gongo. Plant. Then whenever you do your vegetable stuff, or whatever, plant it and harvest it. And shell your gongo. And, and tell me say that's not therapeutic right now as being an adult. Is me I say the fact that you plant your seed, your seed grow, God far rain, bless your seed. You know, put chemical on you or anything, then you see it grow and you harvest your seed. That is therapeutic when you shell your thing and you eat your thing, right? So, so that kind of make it us, you know what I mean, chill out and build back and things. So we have enough gungo ready to start everything else, isn't it? So, so me I beg you, prove me wrong. Plant, plant some gungo or some peas and then shell it out and cook it and see something. So you know, say, yeah, and you plant it and them type of thing, yeah, you, you reap the benefits of your labor. You see it? Guys, let's go get all the ingredients together. We'll get the whole of the ingredients together. Fire, fire blaze already, you see it? I think I love, I love green season, so I plant a lot of green season. So, my favorite <laughs> is scallion. So, scallion to me is one of the most resilient things ever. Because, you know, by scallion, none at all. Because when you cut the top of a scallion off, it's gonna spring right back. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, all you have to do is just, you see, you see, all of them have been top cut off already and then just spring right back like this. You know, some cut off of this already, you see it, so you just cut it right back off and it does spring right back, you see it, so. So, them here right now, because we in spring, they might try to produce like, you know what I mean, flowers and things like that, you know what I mean, so. All you have to do is just cut off the top of them and they all spring right back, you see it. So, we have enough skeleton right now, so. You see them pepper here? Hot pot of fire, brother. Yeah, tell it. So, we just need two pepper. We just need two pepper right now. And, and of course. So we have time so right now. Right now, we can't wait till rain start fall. Because when rain start fall, or some other start plant back a lot of stuff. But right now, we can't do anything because rain now fall and then you see it. So now I have skeleton, I have thyme, I have pepper right now. So the only thing, you will have a color loo then crop as I say rain now fall and things so. Um, so only thing we need from the color loo right now is the leaf. So we'll cut off some color loo leaf right now. So now guys we pick a lot of um color loo leaf and things so the fox and we not do chemical and things so obviously insect or whatever probably crawl on it or whatever the case is so we're going at the house right now and we're gonna wash it and thing you see okay, so far we have a gongo and we have a pumpkin in the pot right now so right now we have cut up the the chocho we 
Well, other people call it what? Chayote, Coyote. Yo, let me tell you something. We only know it as Chocha. So we don't know. It's a form of squash. So, mm. so, so far we have the pumpkin and we have the gungo. So, more and them are going on the pot right now for the boil and think I, You know what I mean? Then tougher than anything else. Right now, we only need the pumpkin to make the water thick. That's the only thing we need the pumpkin for right now. So, we just have a deal with the chocha and, you know. Make it boil right now. Um, so we have the whole of the ingredients right as early. We have the corn, we have the bell pepper, we have the onion, we have cabbage, we have lettuce, we have, as I said, the callaloo leaf, we have the scallion, we have the thyme and everything. You see it? So we have everything right now. So as you can notice, we have a scandal bag right as so for the garbage. Because I'm not sure where the peelings from the, the, the vegetables, I'm not sure them where because I want them to go in at the, the garden for compost and things. So I'm not sure where nothing, you see? Yeah, man, I'm not sure where they, they're very important when it comes to creating compost for your garden, like a raised bed and things. So. so, guys, we're going to cut up a whole lot of little vegetables, them, as I say. We have the pepper them will pick outside, the skelly on them from outside, the thyme from outside, the um, callaloo leaf from outside, we have a bell pepper, we have a cabbage, we have a lettuce, we have a asparagus, we have a um, broccoli, cauliflower, corn, um, we have a carrot, and we have some little potato and things, you see? So, I'm going to cut up everything and carry it outside and put it in the pot. One thing with this guys, you're not even happy to monitor anything. All you have to do is just throw everything in the pot and make it just come together. You see me? I say? You know, if you did it, I money it nothing. Oh, easy. I don't know if you guys can see me tan. But, my woman laugh at me and say, yo, what kind of tan you have to talk about? But, you know, I remember we went to Bahamas to the weekend. We get a little bit of tan. You see? But, I can't see me tan. She can't see it. But, I can't see it. You know, guys, while I'm in the sun, and I build and I chill. And just have a little fun on the beach. I look around and I don't tell you no lie. Being black was the best thing that ever happened to me. I swear to God. When I me, when me, when me, when me come off of the ship, everybody complained about the time. Right now, my woman looks like, look like a real tiger. Stripe everywhere. Brass stripe. Panty stripe, all type of stripe. I'm still the same. Being black is the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm not telling no lie. I'm not telling no lie. Yo, one night I got my bed. And my dream say, one night I got my bed and my dream say, yo, my bleach. Yo, I wake up and I nearly get heart attack when I wake up. I fast as I never wake up. Yo, I nearly get heart attack. You see this right now? When I pick up outside, I just cut it up just like this. Just slice him up and dice him up and thing with the thyme and the leaf them and everything and just throw in it, you see? Yeah man, just throw in it just like that. I don't have to do nothing, you see me? But anyway, I got my bed and my dream say, yo, my bleach. Yo, I saw me wake up to her heart, I didn't get a heart attack. God no. Yeah man, I love my skin brother. That's the best thing ever happened to me, you see? Yeah man. Everybody have all type of stripe on their body, brother. I mean, I have none. You know what I mean? Yeah, tell you. It's a walking solar system. Yeah, man. You know, say me a walking solar system in a car. We prove enough time. Like, so night, you know what I mean? No man have our blanket for her. You know? Then all of a sudden, my sister start scoot over. Scoot over, you know? My sister start scoot over. When I look, when I feel, at the left cheek, the palm my side. You know, remember she have her blanket on her and I only feel the left cheek on me, on my hip, you see it? In a three minutes, she have a chew off the blanket and I mess my skin and solar system, you know. I heat, wake up and die, you know, you see? Yeah, man. You know, when I walk in the solar system, I'm going tell you. I mean, being black is the best thing that happened to me, you see me? Like them, I just throw them in there just like that, you see? Yeah, man, I'm wash already, so I just throw them in there, you see? Carrot. Yeah, man. You know, say, black people are the only people in our world. You see, if you shave off them head, you can use one patch of 
one patch of, um one patch of here and pick up every year. You see it? Magnet in it. Yeah, tell it. Yeah man. My beam block was the best thing ever happened to me, you see me? Beam block is the best thing. So guys, we finished cut up everything right now. So um it's time for seasoning, right? So I put a quarter stick of butter. Me have my pimento. Me have a chicken um we have a chicken soup and we have a flavoured cock soup, you see? And we have put a little bit of maggi and garlic powder and a little bit of salt and that's the only thing we have put in it, you see? So I could go outside, go put everything in a pot because I know it's set a bubble right now, you see me? So guys, the pot of bubble up right now. Funky nice and pretty right now. So we're ready to put in the whole thing in the pot, you see? Like in about five minutes, it's gonna start getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So it's gonna dissolve and thing. And after it dissolves, I just gonna start putting in the seasoning, right? You see. So guys, we're doing another ten minutes checking. Yeah, it are really coming together. Yo, every time you check in, the water get thicker. You see. Yeah man, thicker than a snicker. Yeah man. Right now. Everything can tell everything cook already, but we just want things to just dissolve more, you know what I mean? Right now, this tastes like that's why I like the, the, the chicken flavor in it. Right now it tastes like say you have meat in it and you have no meat, you know what I mean? So thick and it's nice and everything come together. Gungo everything cook already right now. We can't find no pumpkin, the pumpkin melt and dissolve right now. So the water really thick, you see. Give it a little bit more time to just dissolve a little bit more and that's it. Guys, this is the last update. It's been bubbling right now for about 25 minutes. <laughs> Yo, look on a color. Yeah, look on a color there. Oh my god. Yo. Yo, look, look how rich the soup is. Oh my god. Yo, look how rich that is. Right now, it looks like it has meat. It, it is so thick. Yo, come on. Look at that, yo. Everything dissolved. The whole of vegetable them dissolved. Come on, no man. Yo. So, I'm yeah, about to take it off by fire right now. And thing like that. And go inside. So, this is the last update. It's so thick right now. It's amazing. Every, yo. <laughs> yo. Look there, man. Look how thick the thing is. Look how thick it is. Very thick. I did a last video, the last video I do was the salt mackerel and in that video you could have seen with the sweet potato so if you watch the last video you know how I feel about sweet potato I can't sit fire without putting sweet potato in the fire so we have two sweet potato I go and bubble and I fire see you see so. so guys, so this is the finished product I'm gonna have to know like it's so thick like yo, the, at the end the secret weapon is the broccoli. The fact that it's dissolved and it make the water so thick, yo. Yo. It's really good. I mean, I tell you, no lie. We don't, we don't need to wait till we're sick to drink soup. We don't need to be on our deathbed to drink soup. You know what I mean? You need to drink it all the time. And this right here is amazing. 